Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this video, I'll explain how we can use AWS CLI for AWS IAM Identity and Access Management Service. So basically, IAM is a service that helps you to securely control access to your AWS resources for the users that you create. So below are the some commands that I will use in AWS CLI. Make sure that AWS CLI is already installed and configured in your local. And if that is not configured, then do watch my previous video where I have explained how to use AWS CLI and how to configure that thing. Now, before going to show you all the IAM commands, what I'll do, I'll create AWS architecture. And uh, for that, I have to open one website which is called eraser.io. I'll explain how to configure eraser.io and how to set up the account. But before that, let me show you how we can create architecture here. So I have just written here, I am, which is title, and uh, then this is the description, and then few commands I'll write here. If you see here, we have three tabs. Document, this is document mode, in this one both canva and then document mode if you want write some text you can do here if you want to create some design you can create in canva side and then just a canva side so here in canva side what i'll do i'll try to create one design which we are going to explain commands right so these commands i will explain so here what we have to do either you can press slash or just you can click on this plus icon and from here you can select here diagram so I'll just say diagram and then here we have AI diagram if you just want you know uh, to provide some description in English language human readable language it will generate you diagram for you even if you want to create flowchart cloud architecture diagram right so these things we can do from here so I'll just select cloud architecture click here by default it will give you let me just minimize the window so by default if you see this is one template we can see here that if you want just similar to this kind of architecture you can just click here just click on open editor and then here you can see these things what I'll do I'll delete all these things and then it's blank cloud architecture diagram is as of now blank and then we can start writing code from here so i'll say first let's say title and in title i am i'll just say aws iam right so aws iam architecture and then in next line we need to choose few icons so either you can write code here and it will generate it for example let's say i'll say aws we need CLI right and for AWS CLI we need icon so I'll just say icon and then AWS CLI so if you see as I am writing code here one icon is created so if you feel this is you know um, just writing code and then seeing right that's just a waste of time you can also use AI edit so if you'll see just click on it and then write what you want right then it will automatically generate AI for you gen generate diagram for you so let's say I'll say uh, create AWS IAM architecture for below things and here I'll say connect I connect CLI with I am from Windows system then second connect AWS CLI and execute we need to execute create or, or let's say list user create execute 
list users command so let's say i i have written these two things i'll just say make edits just wait few seconds and voila now you can see we have diagram created automatically so this is what we created so maybe i can just say delete right these things i don't want so i can just open it and from here i can delete it if i want even if i want to write my code then also we can do that from here so right now i'll just say delete and this is the existing one that i wanted to try and here we get from the ai so it's saying title then we have window system in window system we have aws cli and then i am inside i am we have two things i am user and then account and then i am policy and in this i am policy we are saying list users so from this command we will get the list user even if you want to add more things here we can also do that the same thing so i'll just say here we can drag it and make it right as our as per our need now if i'll go here and just search icons right if you'll see we have many different icons available so i'll say let's say uh, users right create user or just user just click here one user will be created so i want that my user should be here which can access press a and it will automatically select this arrow now i'll click here to connect with this one and then if i will move it will automatically move these things as well so this is our one user which is connecting with aws cli and then performing it what i'll do i'll click on both and from here i will just copy paste in this side right so i'll select it click copy and here i will go and paste it so it's saying view canva right i'll say aws cli architecture and then our architecture will show here so we can save it now if i want to you know share with my github i have already connected my account i'll just say pull and push i'll just click on push here we wanted to write i'll say main branch and if you want to create pr you can do directly we can also push from here whatever changes we have make here we will make here it will now be available in my github account so i'll just log into my github and here i'll search aws this is my project that i connected there in this project we have the description here available so if i want to edit now i can click here open eraser you can see this option is available if i want to just see the architecture i'll just click here and then it will land to eraser io page so let's get back to the coding where we will write commands to execute that and then side by side we will see this one also in coming videos first command which is saying create users and then second command is aws i am list user basically whatever users already created that is that it will show so i'll just execute first command aws i am list user for that i'll open command prompt and here i'll just paste it since aws is configured i'll just click enter and then i should get list of users which is already available so here we can see that we have user which is aws uh, username is admin user user id is this and then arn password used and these all information that you will get so right now i have only one user created i can create more than one user as well so for that also let's see where exactly this admin user is available in aws console so just log into your aws console and 
after that you have to just search here IAM you can see here we have manage access to your AWS resources just click here after that you have to click on users you can see now we have only one user available so the basic process is what we usually we do we create here user just click on create user give username password and then provide user access related things right so this is optional you can just click username and click next in next it will ask you to assign permission to that particular user so i'll also create user through command line in through cli and to create user we have command aws i am create user username and then here it is saying just add here your username that you want to create so let's say i'll just paste here copy and then i will go and paste here i'll say here admin user 2 click enter so now another user is created and if i will go and check again with the previous command list user command i should get two user account so now one user account is with admin user another account with admin user 2 and here path is slash that means root access we have given by default so now this command create user where you have to put aws im create user username and then here actually you need to put your username this one will work then same thing you can do delete user just put here aws im delete user and then username it will delete that you created user will be deleted so now second feature here is so let, let's try to delete that one also I can delete from here and uh, yeah right so let it be I'll delete later next part is create access key so now if you want to access programmatically for that particular user you can also use this particular command which is very handy if you will go in AWS console you have to find many different places to get that get that access key so to create access key what we usually we do we have to perform AWS IAM create access key and then username equal to here you have to put the username so let's say I'll just copy it will go here paste it again I need to copy paste here so now I need to put username so username I'll say admin user 2 and for this user I wanted to create access key now you can see username we have user 2 access id status is active secret key is this one so username is created i mean user access key is created now you can use this user access key and then you can programmatically connect to your aws environment and then you can you can provision any service from that so this is one way to create access key if you want to just list right list access key for users you just wanted to check what is the user key already available right that you created earlier so in that case you can use this command list access key and then put username i'll copy here paste it and then i'll change username admin user 2 right so here we have command list access earlier we have used create access now we have list access and then if I will click enter it will give us the same thing that you see previously basically we have access key and uh, right so basically it will list access key for that particular user similarly if you want to delete key you can also delete here so you just need to use I am delete access key and then paste here access key and for which user you, you want to delete that also you can paste from here so I'll just copy 
access key from here so i'll just say copy and let's paste in this one this is access key and username is basically admin user 2 copy paste here so recently created access key is now deleted so let's again do list access and then i just wanted to see what what is the access for that one so it's saying empty array which is we don't have any access key available for this user next command we have is attach policy to user so as you create object you have to also assign some policy for example if you see here this user right if you go and check the policy for this user you will see that we have ad administrator access available for this user so this is basically policy so how you can assign right so you have to assign the policy as well and for this policy you have to you know click you have you have to note this ARN right you can see here this ARN we did so our command says to attach policy AWS IAM if I will go right and check the users that we created let me just refresh right so I have here admin user 2 let me go inside this admin user 2 and then I just wanted to see the policy so as of now it is saying policy is 0 for user 2 there is no policy now we need to attach policy as well so to attach policy here we have command AWS I am uh, right this one here AWS I am attach user policy policy ARN user username so policy ARN I will copy from here any policy that you want you just click on policies and here we have all the list of policies available so I am just right now using admin administrator access I'll just click or if you want to give access for particular feature only then also you can search here so I'll open it copy ARN and we'll go here in this case I'll just paste policy ARN and then username so I want to attach for admin user 2 just copy and then we'll paste here and then enter so now I think the policy is attached let's just check from here I'll just go and uh, refresh it you can see now one admin access is given to this particular user from CLI AWS CLI that we are using here if you want to just list all the policies for that particular user we have AWS I am list attached policy attached user policy and then give the username you will get that similarly if you want to de detach you can also put the ARN number and the username in detach user policy this is the command that you have to use for removing the policy now here we have roles so if you want to create some roles for the users right so if you go here you can see we have another another uh, menu which is called role you can just click here as of now I have not created any roles but if you want to create particular roles right you can also do the same through command prompt command line and then we have AWS I am create role role name just put any name assume role policy document and then policy document you have to pass here so if I will just click here create role it will say that for AWS service account SAML right and what what you want to do right so I'll say services for AWS services from here you have to choose which service so I'll say let's say EC2 and then in that case it will say okay for all EC2 or for a specific thing only then if you click next now in that role you have to assign the permission as well given the permission then click next and then you have to then it will 
create that right so you have to ask role name and then these things so this policy document it's saying about the trust policy right so this is the policy document that you need to supply in this command here as a json file so all those things will be created in one go you don't need to choose all those things then similarly you have to attach policy to role right then list all the roles create policy right so these all commands we have that you can perform in case of aws iam services that you want to use through aws cli command line interface i hope you are able to get this thank you so much for watching the video